Today, during period one, students spent the hour with their form tutors where the new Oracy strategy was launched with them. The senior leadership team, the head of ICE, some of our students and myself have created some short videos to launch with parents and carers too, to explain what Oracy is, why we believe it is important for our students and what changes are happening here at Baysgarth. Oracy at Baysgarth is incredibly important for all of us. What do we mean by Oracy? Well, it's the ability to express yourself um, and understand speech. It's the ability to speak clearly. It's the ability to articulate ideas, to develop your understanding, to engage with others through the spoken language. There is a nationally recognised Oracy framework and Baysgarth has gone further than that and developed its own Oracy benchmarks of what we're trying to achieve with our students here in our school. Uh, we truly believe that this is critically important for every single one of our students. Why? Well, the evidence backs it up. The evidence from many different studies shows that students who uh, have strong oracy skills have better academic outcomes. We know that structured classroom talk actually improves literacy as well as oracy. We know that students who are orally confident can become um, better when it comes to their well-being, it improves their mental health, we all know it's good to talk, but if you can't articulate yourself, it's very difficult to know how to talk and how to express yourselves. Once you can do that, once you know that you have a voice, that it can be listened to, that it is worthwhile, you become far more confident knowing that that voice has value. It also helps to equip students with what they need for later life. And I think this is the most important thing for me. If you are going to succeed in life, and if you are going to have social mobility, if you're going to move up, if you're going to try and strive to do better than the previous generation, you need to be able to succeed in interviews. You need to be able to succeed when you're faced with people who are strangers for the first time. You need to be able to impress. And all of these things come from being confident um, with your skills in oracy. And this is why it's at the very heart of what we're trying to do here at Baysgarth this year. Qualifications are the bits that normally get you the interview on the day and get you invited. However, it's your oracy skills that uh, on the day are the most important thing because they're the things that set you apart from other candidates. You may be asked to perform a presentation. Now, if you've practiced that and if you've worked on those skills, then on the day you'll be able to perform at such a high level that will lead to you getting the job. Uh, there are many other tasks like during the interview, if you can talk confidently, uh, passionately, and then you put yourself in a really, really strong position. Uh, oracy skills are so important, uh, you know, from a personal point of view, one of my best friends didn't do particularly well at school, didn't have fantastic grades. However, he is confident, he is a uh, really good talker, good communicator, uh, and he's been able to get himself an excellent job, uh, paying really well, despite not having good qualifications. So oracy is key in the world of employment. The benefits of Oracy go far beyond academic achievement and employability skills. For me, it's about building a whole range of social and emotional and interpersonal skills, including self-confidence, resilience, self-awareness, and most importantly, empathy. There's a huge amount of research on the impact of Oracy on academic achievement, but also on our children's mental health. A child age five with an underdeveloped vocabulary and oracy skills is almost twice as likely to suffer in their teenage years from mental health issues. Now, when I was at school, we were taught the golden rule that silence is golden, which in some situations it can be. But for me, too many children now locked up in silence with a real inability to communicate their thoughts, their feelings and their sense of identity. That inability to talk leads to children suffering. COVID has brought into sharp reality how important it is for us all to look after children's mental health and developing oracy skills and the ability to talk and communicate effectively is critical in this. A child who can express their thoughts and feelings and emotions in a really positive, constructive way will have positive mental health. And for me, that is why this strategy is so important. But the strategy is not just school working alone. Communication within families is critical. 
The level of family communication is a key indicator in mental health for children. A family where communication is strong and positive and children are encouraged to express their thoughts and feelings and more importantly feel valued and listened to are more likely to be successful teenagers and manage their mental health independently. So oracy is critical and it's critical for us all, not just for academic achievement, but for our lifelong chances about maintaining our mental health and developing into happy, successful adults. Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about oracy with a focus on building relationships and managing conflict. Good oracy is important not only around the school, but also around the home and also around the community. Good oracy involves speaking clearly, fluently, and also within the right context. But as important as oracy is, oracy can also include listening, and listening is equally as important. It's really important in terms of building healthy relationships and resolving conflict. Oracy skills include the ability to communicate emotions and demonstrate empathy, and therefore they can also include facial expressions and how we appear to people. Oracy is also highly important in ensuring that people, yourself and others, family members, have good mental health. It ensures that you have success at school, that you have healthy relationships with your peers and with your family members and with your friends. So oracy is important not only at school, but also at home and also, as I said before, in the community. This year, the ICE department are going through a really exciting change um, in that all lessons are going to be completely book free. Uh, this is to support the, um, the whole school initiative, um, which involves increasing the students' oracy skills um, to give them the best chance in life, to be able to communicate effectively um, in all areas of life. Um, so it's something that we are completely wholeheartedly getting involved in, um, ready for our students. Um, the idea of being book free means that students um, can have the confidence to um, explore their feelings and um, contribute to a lesson without having to worry about how many um, how much writing they're doing, how many pages of the book that they're filling. Uh, so it almost kind of takes that pressure off and it's one less thing to think of. And the idea that there's no books means that there's no distraction as well in terms of you know getting um, in the way of, of the topics and the sort of things that they're discussing. We do this through carefully planned lessons, trying to make sure that we use a lot of different Kagan structures so that it is different, so that it gives um, the opportunity for every child to get their voice heard. So with these Kagan structures, every person has to contribute to the discussion. Okay, Nobody gets left behind, uh, not one person you know, dominates the conversation, everyone has the opportunity to get involved and that's really, really important to our initiative as a whole. Um, Students are becoming, you know, getting used to being outside of their com comfort zone, but this will benefit them in the long run. Um, and, you know, they understand these expectations and so far so good. The students are really, really engaging with this initiative and, and getting involved um, and enjoying the work that is being done in this area. For me, oratory skills are important because it can help me get roles in and out of school. I had to use my oracy skills in my interview to become a Bible prefect and I was successful in getting the role. Also, I'll use oracy later in life for job interviews and when speaking to those in higher positions. For example, in the future I'll have to speak to a boss or a manager and there I will utilise my oracy skills to show respect to them. I think it is important to have good oracy skills to allow us to communicate with others on a variety of different topics to a range of audiences. Personally, it allows me to express my feelings and emotions while also helping others to express theirs. I believe that having good oracy skills is vital to show off your personality and who you are. It helps you to connect with others and make friendships, and if you ever have any friendship issues, you have the skills to be able to solve those problems and conflicts. Oracy skills are important to me as they allow me to communicate and share my opinion with others. It opens opportunities for me to debate and learn new perspectives that I may not have considered. Oracy allows me to understand people and our differences. What we say and how we say it matters, which is why we have designed four universal benchmarks that we expect all of our students to adhere to both inside and outside of the classroom. 
We expect them to use manners and use respectful language at all times, which is reflected in the changes to the conduct cards that now focus not only on behaviour outside of the classroom, but also on language. We expect our students to use formal language with their teachers in class, and we also ask that they explain their thoughts and their feelings in full sentences, rather than just responding with one word answers. Oracy skills are one of the strongest predictors of a child's future life chances, which is why, especially after the pandemic, we believe that it is vital to launch this strategy now. Our vision is to create a culture where every opportunity to maximise the voices of all of our students is used, especially through the use of collaborative learning and Kagan structures in lessons, where students have access to a sustained and wide-ranging curriculum for oracy, and where everyone in the Bayes Garth community, including staff, students and parents, value oracy as an integral part of how we provide an effective education.